Hey guys, <coughs> welcome back. Um, in this particular video, we are going to look into uh, content providers and how you can, you know, exploit the content providers, right? So uh, let's actually look at what content providers are, right? So let me give you a brief. So content providers provide uh, or they manage access to structured set of data, right? So whenever you connect to a database, for example, you normally use a connector, right? Irrespective of the programming language. And content provider basically takes the, you know, uh, does this particular job for you, right? So they encapsulate the data and provide mechanisms for defining the data security, right? So you can see has over here, you have the content provider providing a link or connect to the data storage, uh, the widgets and the other applications as well, right? So in simple words, content providers are the way you know, uh, using which data can be accessed from one process to another process, right? So, uh, uh, and we'll be looking in this particular video, we'll be looking into how we can exploit this, right? So I think we will uh, get to know more as we see the demo of it, right? So let's um, start by getting um, to the folder where we have some of the vulnerable apps. Let's go down to vulnerable copy yeah so I think we're gonna pick up an app called as the uh, the catch app right it's called the catch app so let me install this app adb install right so there you go I've installed this app now uh, now that we have the app let's see if you know if you can see find it on the device there you go. This is the device. And this is the app. Um, let me create. Um, so this is basically a notes kind of app, right? So let me create a. Uh, let me create a note here, right? Let me create a note, a simple note which says uh, uh, something like I don't know, maybe like my secret text, right? I'm gonna create that. I'm gonna save this, right? So there you go. So I created a note in this particular app called as my secret text. Great. Now, let's go back here. Let's probably uh, go down to the ADB shell, right? And try to uh, go inside the device. So, where do you think uh, this particular uh, the data for this app is going to be? I mean, if you let's, uh, uh, so it's going to be over here. So, you go inside the data folder. Inside, it's going to be one more data folder. And inside this, it's going to be the uh, name of the package right and this is the package so if I do lsal you get to see the various things which are there inside that folder and one of the folder is your databases so let's go inside databases right uh, <clears throat> if you see the databases for this app there is one particular database called notepad.db right so probably let's use sqlite to um, you know open this particular uh, database right and uh, we are inside the SQLite uh, command prompt so let's run a very simple uh, you know select all from nodes right so we know the name of the table is nodes so we are gonna run select all from nodes right so if you run that you can see that we um, you know we were able so you have highlighted the text over here so this is the same text as what we actually entered it over the app over here right so this is how you can this is how you would normally access a database to find the um, you know to find the data which is you know entered in a app now if you look at it in this particular case the databases or uh, you know even the um, yeah, the tables in the database that uh, the databases you know they, they basically have a particular user ID right so I mean the permissions have been set correctly so uh, you know they, they they have certain user IDs and only those user IDs can access this database right obviously I can access it too because I am running as root adb shell basically runs as root um, let me quit this so if you see here if I do a who am I it's basically root right so obviously root will obviously have privileges and the, the other person who has privileges is only the user you know over here Right. So this particular app is actually not vulnerable, right? 
Uh, now, whatever I showed you now is all about, you know, how you would access the database in an app, right? So we still haven't seen, you know, the content providers part of it. So to see that, what we'll do now is, um, let me exit this. Let me see. Right, let me see if there is a folder called catch. Probably. Okay, let me remove this. Right. Great. So uh, what we'll do now is let's actually uh, build the whole. Uh, uh, let's let's decompile this particular app, right? And uh, you know, currently we have the app over here, which is uh, three banana nodes, right? So what we'll do is we'll take this app and let's uh, try to decompile it so how do you decompile an app we know we can do it using apk tool right so if you do apk tool um, right and we're going to give the name of the app right and let's put a put folder catch underscore probably apk tool Will that work there you go so it is trying to decompile the, the catch app Give it a minute. So I wanted to show you guys how we can use Canton providers to access the same data which I accessed earlier, right? Using SQLite. So that's what we are doing. So we decompile the app. Now let's actually go inside uh, this folder, and we must have our files created, which is good. What do we do next? Um, let's. So the the main thing about content providers is that you know when you code an app and when you put in a content provider you follow a certain format right while writing it so we are going to grep for that so what we'll do is we're going to grep for so let's do a grep in this folder recursive grep basically uh, minus i capital r n and uh, let's grep for you know content right, so let's grep for content here like this right so there you go so I grepped for content and you can see these are all the places where you know the content provider has been referenced in the source code of the app right which is great so if you look here there is one content provider which is you know probably the content provider which is actually very much connected to this nodes right so you can see here provider notepad uh okay so the probably not that spending uh maybe this one let me have a look at that so there are a lot of these right you will uh, uh you'll have to go through each of them to find you know which one actually is referring to this one um i have a feeling it's uh something provider notepad okay so i have already got this you know in my notes i'm going to directly use it but you can as well search this particular list and try to find as well if you're testing a new app since i've already tested this app i already have it here right so now what we are trying to do is we will try to extract the same information which we got earlier right by directly going through the sqlite database but now we are going to do it using content provider right so it's going to be the the command is very simple you're going to do adb shell content query right the uri is the place where you use the content provider which you would have fetched from the earlier list right so i'm gonna put it down here because i already know it so when i hit an enter you can see the same information right so i have highlighted over here the text my secret text right so you can see the same information being displayed as well right and how did i do this i i basically did it by using content provider right so earlier i did it using sqlite right but now the same information I was able to obtain using the content. So content provider basically provides you a medium to access the databases, access the data. It could be text, it could be XML and so on. Um, now, is this app vulnerable to, uh, you know, content provider leakage, right? Is it vulnerable? Um, pro uh, probably not. The reason being, I'm trying to access this, right, using ADB uh, shell. And if you see the ADB shell ID, it's nothing but root right let me run this again so I'm running as root right and if I'm running as root and if I'm trying to access the content provider of the catch app which means it is not vulnerable right but if I am able to access the same content provider but by using a different user ID 
right maybe by using uh, a non root and a, uh, uh, a different user id uh, then i can probably uh, clearly say that that particular content provider is leaking data which means now any attacking app you know which you install on your phone can read the database of your you know of your vulnerable app through the content providers so that is um, how we look for you know uh, vulnerable content providers right so let me recap whatever i talked about now so content providers provide a way or they provide a uh, they provide a medium to access the data right um, and uh, uh, when something very important with content provider is that the permissions right the permissions uh, who have access to you know use this content provider uh, the permissions of the databases inside the app should be aptly uh, you know programmed because if you don't do that then anyone will be able to any vulnerable any attacking app right any hacking app will be able to um, you know uh, read the databases read your databases using uh, you know content providers right so yeah thank you for watching